Bobby's video has some good points, but a lot of like bad assumptions is kind of how I feel about That's it. That's what I felt. Like I liked his presentation and like how he was logically breaking things down. But he but just I doesn't really, know the facts. So I, I, I pointed it out in the beginning. Like I'm not sure if your hypothesis is even like like valid. Yeah. The problem is is that like he's not like TOing and like kind of in the mix on that. Mm -hmm. So his like assumptions are just really wrong and outdated. It's like the honest truth. Which just like <laughs> I love him, and I think he would make the right conclusions, yeah, and probably pretty similar ones. Mm -hmm. um, if he had better understanding of like all the conversations and everything that happened, mm -hmm. but he doesn't, so he's just making a lot of wrong assumptions. But he still talks really well, and I think he helps give an optimism to the the community, which I think is really necessary. Yes, um, I think our general approach, like kind of Mango said, of like we go back to being cockroaches and we stay <laughs> like that, and we and we we exist and succeed like that. I like that, and that, that part, that's a vibe that I, I generally agree with. Um, but, like, yeah, like, um, you know, he's, he's kind of like, yeah, the chaotic good, right? Like, he's just, he's kind of mixing it up, making us feel good, and it's, it's very necessary. Um, but we got to be honest about what the facts are if we're going to, like, make good decisions also. <laughs> uh, not his fault, by the way. Yeah. Um, and uh and uh but what it's work like when i didn't watch the whole thing by the way i only watched like the first last few minutes i basically before. just recapped like the beginning like basically yeah yeah like i already said it and I, I i will say that like for my when i did watch the mium podcasting mm. it did feel a little bit too doomer and like i, I, I strongly agree with it. so basically i texted him after his first stream and i said number one my bad for not messaging you to be on. I honestly thought he just wouldn't answer. Because <laughs> uh, he's kind of, you know, been hard to reach out to sometimes. Uh, and then second of all, I said, I think you're right. I think I was a bad leader in that moment. And I know, like, I hate the term community leader, frankly, because none of us lead this shit. And I think it's really annoying because people, like, flip that on you and expect, like, accountability and, like, you know, like, oh, as a leader, you should have done this. It's like, bro, we're just masters of anything. Yeah. I'm an attendee just like the rest of you. I just happen to know a little bit more because I seem to be a little bit more in the loop. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just trying to give people as much transparency as possible. That's yeah. it. Um, but, like, no one runs this shit. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. It's like, we, we, like, barely learn. Like, we're just learning on the fly how to lead the ship. Uh, yeah. So, um that's 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 kind of the truth and um and uh like there can't really be a full like community leader in the traditional sense uh because uh, you know so, leadership, like, there's no dem democracy there's yeah. no like yeah it's we're just no, like also, so how do i say disorganized in the first place yeah you know, like, we're just really fragmented yeah. and so like yeah i guess there are voices that people take seriously like mine and bobby's and whoever's like top but players that's all, that's all we kind of got right yeah. <laughs> like that's it we got the cloud. we got that yeah we got that i guess and that that's about it but we don't actually have levers to make change in the ways that people would maybe try to hold us accountable for accountable for right like ultimately if nintendo fucks us that's not really something i can lead differently on <laughs> right like it's kind of like uh just something i can react to yeah um and uh you know we do we do do try to do stuff to to make it better but nonetheless anyway somewhat it's a bit of a hive mind now that's more right and i think i think there is still power though in how we talk and anyway what i was getting at was i think i was a bit do doomer because i think people really needed some optimism i do think the do the doomering part helped but you had sober a reason to be doomer i had a very good reason to be doomer and i think it also was like it helped people understand the stakes yeah right yeah. so like just going out there and being like we'll be fine blah, 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 right like and just like kind of muscling through it is like not the truth and Sometimes i like to you gotta, have you gotta integrity. On them. You gotta i'm gonna let you guys know it's, them. we need to like come together right now because shit's bad right mm -hmm. and um maybe he thought that people would get that immediately but sometimes you know you gotta let people know like the real real and the real real is it's really fucked right yeah, it's like literally the worst thing that's ever happened in our this is the worst thing that has ever happened mm -hmm. right um and that's not an exaggeration not hyperbole it's like by far the worst so i think it ended up being a really good foil so like i came in with like um a lot of facts a lot of the, you know gave the transparency the community needed in terms of the real problem and then bobby came in being like yeah but we're gonna win anyway right <laughs> um and i think that's like a good little dynamic because it ends up being that people 
get the facts on the ground. And I think if you just look at it, like if you just read Reddit, for being the public, we're talking about private business discussions, right? I'm very proud of the community because we've been able to build a vernacular among ourselves, despite being a grassroots community being so fractured, where people are talking intelligently, right? There are some people who are doing misinformation and stuff like that. But overall, I think the common folk and even like our player base, our influencers are starting to understand the issue. Yeah, this is like the and first time where I've seen like most people unified, like even within our own community alone. Like I think that community. part's really hard. And, and I'm, you know, this is me completely tooting my own horn, but I think like there was a time where we didn't do all this stuff. Yeah. I think things like Commentator's Curse, MIOM, mm -hmm. like a lot of like the crazy open transparency that we've had like and built up to has led to people like, let's say like, you see Aiden, the way he talks now, like yeah. he, he wasn't like this five years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I look at that shit and I just like get inspired. Yeah. Because I'm like, you know, I get inspired by the youngins because I'm like, look, the next gen, next well, he's kind of the current generation because uh, he's he's been around for a while. Yeah, um, and then you see the next generation also carry that tradition of being that open with the scene. Um, because frankly, there's a lot of tournament organizers, and the easy thing to do is to not talk to the scene and not tell them what's really going on, yeah. right? Yeah. Because that's when Nintendo wins. They win in the darkness. They win when we're doing things they're doing behind yeah. behind the scenes and without the actual public knowing what's going on. Yeah, it's the yarn um, level up. Right. Right, exactly. The podcast voice level up, which helped a lot. And I think if you just literally read Reddit comments, you're like, how is the public this in deep and in the weeds of like licensing discussions? Mm -hmm. You know, why does random yeah. 14 year old Redditor know <laughs> what a, you know, broadcast license is? Yeah. That's a pretty high level business term. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, well, how do they even, even understand that? Mm -hmm. And I think like it comes from years of transparency and the community being open and honest. Yeah. Uh, something that we didn't have a long time ago and something I wish we, we had um, in certain eras of our scene, right? Yeah. Um, and so, like... And, like, Aiden uh, is so open on Twitter. He's, like, so educated on, like... He's, like, giving such nuanced and, like, good points on every single statement. And the fact that right. he's also popular helps a lot, too. That helps, too, right? So, like, there's that. And then, like, again, Bobby, like, he's he's got a great transparent voice where he tells people what it comes from his heart. And uh, that's like amazingly true. You saw in the MIOM, we got like all the biggest CEOs to come out and be on the pro the, the the podcast. Mm -hmm. Like, think about the incredible risk that they're facing. Yeah. Like, like Genesis and Big House, they can get targeted, but they're still putting their face on what is effectively a fucking Nintendo stream. You know, <laughs> like, and that's 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 hard for them ultimately. And it's personal people, and and they did that, and that's badass. Um, and uh, you know, so. That's that's kind of like the, the things I'm talking about where I think that's part of our strength and uh, why I do think we'll win. And then I just I just don't know how if, we'll, if we'll, what, what, what everything will happen, frankly, that part's harder to predict. So what what do you think is going to happen next year? Let, let's take it one step at a time. Scuff World Tour is going to happen after that. What's next? What's going to happen? What do you variety think? of things can happen? Variety of things can happen. What do you think? I'll give you the, the most, option set. Yeah. I'll give you the option set and then we can kind of analyze and try to determine it, right? Because I don't know yet mm -hmm. because I've talked to people. I literally spent all weekend talking to people. It was great mm -hmm. about our options and what we're going to do. And I don't think it's shaken out and there hasn't been consensus yet, right? Right. Um, option one, my favorite <laughs> personally, <laughs> is the double f two fingers in the sky option, which is we unify, put out a public statement maybe even. Uh, where we list out literally every TO who's going to commit to the public that they will not entertain a Nintendo license. They're going to leave them on red. And if force comes to worse comes to worse, they um, they push it and, and, and need a response. Maybe we have like a, a, a designated community li liaison who like is our the person who deals with Nintendo rep, right? Okay. Something like that. Um, Basically, everyone's saying unlicensed or bust, and we kind of go with that. And if they shut us down, so, so in that world, there's like a, a prong, right, where it could be two different worlds. One, okay, well, what if they then, we go unlicensed and they try to shut everything down. We do the Bobby approach, which is like, we shut down the melee, we shut down the, the, the Smash Ultimate, and we basically turn into a protest, mm -hmm. right? We go that route. Mm -hmm. Or um, we go into the fuck it, we ball, we just get sued and hope that <laughs> or we, we dare them to sue and 
and uh, we hope that the community <laughs> go fund me whoever takes the fall right yeah. basically uh um, so basically what scar is saying in his video yeah that's like a pronged option and that's one the problem with that option is like number one someone has to fucking do that yeah somebody has to get like, their life ruined life ruined potentially because they it, if they do sue, it's almost certain they'll lose based on every lawyer we've ever talked to. Which the part that part sucks. Um, and so uh, you know they'd have we, to we'd have to pay Bobby for we'd have to tribute. probably pay for we probably have to pay for legal fees, and with the expectation that if that goes to court and if they lose, we might be in a worse position, right? <laughs> which yeah. is another thing that makes it hard. Because what if we lose that court case, which is what again every lawyer says, lawyer says we do. I'm pretty sure then we have precedent. Straight up lose. <laughs> we have precedent in case law that then we have to deal with for the next 20 years, right? Yeah. That's, that's the part's not good either. Like the losing, the part where they actually do it and then we lose is really bad. But if we win, it's really good. If we somehow win, then we're just, we might just be free, you know, which that part's great. The yeah. problem is it's very likely we lose. Mm -hmm. Now, if they just don't sue, that's like the ultimate scenario because then we're like, haha, get fucked. That and we keep, keep running stuff and, and we, you know, um, we move on. Right. Um, so that's option one with its two prongs. There's one A and one B. I hope you're following along, mm -hmm. right? Um, okay, so I'll, option... I'll type it out. Like one A, yeah, B. yeah. If we win, that's amazing. If we lose, likely. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That sucks. Yeah, also, there we go. If if they do nothing. <laughs> also good if they do nothing like that's the best result yeah. that's actually might even be better than winning because we don't have to spend a million dollars or whatever the fuck we have to spend awesome. it might be even more than a million i don't even know how much it would be i i, I can't even estimate that i don't have no enough yep. to, to tell you that <laughs> um okay so that's option number one unlicensed future yeah okay so the teals are unionizing being all like, you know what, Nintendo, yeah. fuck you. We're gonna be unlicensed, uh, yes. and uh, we see what happens. Yeah, it's by the way, you know, option number one. There's no unity around even doing unlicensed, right? Because a lot of TOs are scared about being unlicensed. So even getting that far, I don't know if there's unity around that, right? Um, option number two would be, um, yeah, like, can we even? get enough TOs on board with that core conceit is yeah. a question. I, I think it would probably like take like like majority to super majors and majors to have this kind of work. Yeah. Option number two is um, we get licensed uh, but we get licensed um, and uh, we don't, but we don't like, but there's like no panda, like we don't allow panda to get to come back. Where, um, Chio still take Nintendo licenses, but it's kind of like the old Genesis ones or the old Big House ones, where all it is is like some fucking Splatoon ads, you know. Um, and we kind of grit our teeth and be like, that's the that's the you know price we pay, right, for uh running Smash Brothers tournaments. So we get licensed, but um. Or, you know, some, I guess it's more like some TOs get licensed if they want to, some don't. don't. Um, and Tundra goes after people if they want to, if they don't. Um, and we kind of go back to where we were in, like, 2017, 18, right? Um, and the negatives of this, of course, is that Nintendo's still involved, but we still say no to Panda, right? And we still basically say no to any larger Nintendo plan, right? The key with this number two plan is if Nintendo wants to do large Nintendo plans, which are like circuits, combined sales rights, combined broadcast rights, like large plans that they do, we don't give them, we don't give them, uh, we don't give them that, right? So those are like the two. Wait, but like, what, why, like why? Like what gives us so a say to say no? Well, we can we can still get licensed, but say no to that stuff. But okay, so the thing is, if they push that and they say no, you're gonna fucking be a part of it, then we might have to go on license. Because <laughs> I think 
the 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 red line i think for everyone but um uh, especially me is we should never let them do bigger plans okay because like if we just go along with their fucking circuits and shit we already just saw the price we pay mm-hmm. you know like it's too much like they th- once they start doing bigger plans that are like more involved than a few splatoon ads they really just start fucking our shit up you know Mm-hmm. I personally don't really I don't as you guys can tell I've been saying it I don't really even like number two because those licenses have been so fucking ca- cancerous for us they've been so bad mm-hmm. um, however right and the, none of the TOs like them don't, so don't get it twisted the TOs don't want to be licensed it's just some of them feel pressured and forced and are worried about getting C&D mm-hmm. right so um, that's basically I think like the primary question is licensed or unlicensed and then from there if we get a license unlicensed, what do we do in case of CNDs? And I guess it's also like if we do get licensed, we kind of have to wait and see to see like how much how ambitious is Nintendo gonna be, how pushy are they gonna be? You know what I mean? Um Yeah. So, so you're so, saying that number two is sort of like it's sort of like the safe route, depending on how much they push us, and if they push us too much then there could potentially be a fallout for scenario. At, at the moment, unless some movement happens in the next, like, two weeks when we have momentum, I expect number two to happen. Hmm. Because the TOs have been notoriously bad at working together. Really bad, right? And there currently isn't consensus about being unlicensed, which will likely mean that some people will be licensed, some people won't be. And the fact of the matter is, you guys won't know. <laughs> Like, they'll do private licenses. They'll do it behind closed doors, and they won't announce the license, right? Yeah, and it might just be you, like don't, a, you don't need to be public about it. Right. And it might just be one of those things where, um, you know, uh, which would be nice, kind of, because if it's super not public, then there won't be Splatoon ads, right? Because yeah. then, yeah. <laughs> then it'll just do it behind. <laughs> At least that part's that's, nice. that's one silver lining. Right, and and then what'll probably mean what the number two would probably mean if that's what actually happens, is that next year will be a wait and see year when Nintendo like licks its wounds and tries to regroup for their next big plan. Mm. Right. So like twenty twenty three is fine for now. My get okay. I mean, there is a world where they just shut us all fucking down, but I just don't see that world. Yeah. I want to reiterate to people because it's by far the biggest misconception about Nintendo and the Smash community right mm-hmm. nintendo truthfully honestly i've talked to them for hundreds of hours i believe this about them they want to see our scene grow and and they they truthfully when they say they care about the smash scene they care about it in their own little fucking twisted way right <laughs> yeah they care about it in the same the way a toxic relationship cares about you know the other person yeah i i right? I, I beat you every day but i still love you. it's it's yeah exactly you get it right it, it's that part is actually true like they're not kidding about that <laughs> it's it's like when they say they love us they it's actually like in a like in a toxic relationship when like the the fucking what is that the crazy girlfriend meme like if she's like texting you all the time like hey i love you though it's 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 not that different right yeah. um and so that's why it can get very confusing for tos because they're like but this nintendo rep is so nice to us and they seem to actually be like watch the scene and like care mm-hmm. yeah they do care, but here's the thing, and here's the problem: they want to be in control. They want it to shape it after their own image, and they primarily want it from for uh, want us to be in a perfect, neat little pile where they can basically exploit us for all we were we're worth, right? Uh, for marketing, for um, advertising, for their games, and for their brand image. Yeah. By the way, when I say Smash community, uh, I meant that's what they want for ultimate and melee and i kind of, less so with melee by the way they love us a little less we're like the 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 if we're both uh two sons and daughters of of uh, of nintendo there's a clear favorite yeah. make no mistake right we're, we're not the favorite but nonetheless i they truly do want us to see us grow but in their fucking way and in in, in the life and and style that they want and uh, that's the conflict right the conflict is that our goals and agenda for our community and what we want out of our tournaments and what we want of our community and what we like about being in our community is just very different than their goals. That's all it is, right? That's all it is. And it's all it's ever been, right? We don't match their IP guidelines because we don't like 
and care about their IP guidelines, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we don't match their goals. We don't care about marketing fucking Splatoon. They do, right? And there's a lot of other reasons where we're, we're basically in every facet of tournament administration, scene administration. There's just a clear conflict of, uh, you know, what we want out of it and what they want out of it. We just don't want the same things. Um, so that's where the primary conflict is. Now, keep in mind, by the way, that is true for ultimate melee. For PM, they just want to die. So like, just, just, to, just to double check, just since people seem to be confused every once in a while. Uh, yeah. You know, for PM, they literally just want to die in a fire. <laughs> for ultimate melee, they want us to survive, but like beaten and battered and in the way they want. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's not much you better. Mutate us but, into something we really don't want to be. Right, right, right. But like ultimately, that's, that's the, the distinction. And, um, and it's primarily why we've been able to exist, right? Uh, the reason why we haven't gone the PM route of just getting basically shut down is because ultimately they don't want us all to go away, right? They need us to be around and interested for their future plans, whatever that is. Their current plans was with Panda, right? They were going to run and control the scene and basically get to the point, get our scene to the point that they want us to be at. And Panda was their conduit, right? They're going to have a new plan, right? Mm -hmm. After this all blows over, they're going to have a new plan. They're going to figure out, okay, cool. How do we get to the end goal of us running the scene, right? <laughs> that's that's going to be their new shit. Whatever it is, they haven't figured it out yet, I bet, right? They're going to they're gonna try to do nothing, something new. Right now, they're licking their wounds. Right now, they're re-strategizing. Right now, they're reconvening because they're like, what? This Panda thing might not, you know, seems to have not worked out. What's our next step? And they're going to try to figure that out. Um, we should be prepared for that. And we need to be like kind of as a community, like at a point where when the next Alan Bunny comes around, we're just, we, we're wise enough to be like, hey, not on, not, not the couple weeks before Panda Cup, but like when it's announced that it's a partner with Nintendo, we're like, no, not on <laughs> you know what watch. I'm saying? Not on my watch. Right. And that's kind of the point that I think we need to get to. Yeah. Right. Um, because you'll, you'll let's be honest. Because uh, right? like I feel if like I'll, at this point, any benefit of the doubt of being affiliated with Nintendo, like actively, it's gone. It, it's like it's gone. It's just dead now. Because like it's dead. I feel like with like the new blood scene with Ultimate, they gave it like the benefit of the doubt. They weren't around when uh, Nintendo just fucked us over so many times. But now that they got like that first hand, no, absolutely not. I like, yeah, I'm, like I, I, that, that is one thing I'm really happy about is that the public now knows. It, it, this is like the first time I've seen like virtually everyone's like, oh yeah, affiliation with Nintendo. Finally, it seems like we're on the same page. But the thing is, let's see how we are in two, three, four, five months. Yeah. Because let's be honest, like new players enter the scene, old players leave. Like memories are short, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's like keeping that unity of like, hey guys, like seriously, it's been twenty one years of this. Yeah. Like at some point. <laughs> yeah. We I wonder how to, many like, people just... remember about uh, Nintendo holding back MLG. Right. Like we. <laughs> There's the, the, the examples are countless, right? Like it's literally dozens of examples at this point. And, um, you know, they're going to try again. It's the truth of the matter is they're going to try. We can't escape them. Mm -hmm. Not fully. Right. This problem is going to be an eternal war. It's an eternal war. We're winning. Like if you just take a bird's eye view of it, we've only been winning. If there's, if there's a winner in this war, like long-term, it's been us. We've been growing in spite of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, like look at look at look at just generally what the resources and the viewership and fandom and you know the history that we've accumulated in spite of them and we've and got like so much influence on our side like it's actually insane right. like Charlie Ludwig Mr Beast out yeah of like we literally have the biggest YouTubers like they're all <laughs> they're somehow all smashers I don't know how it happened there are greatest but like weapons at this point <laughs> somehow that happened at some point that happened and that's fucking dope yeah. right. The yeah. literal biggest podcast on Patreon is like four smashers. <laughs> Not sure how that happened, but like the point, like it's it's truly the quality of our people, yeah. right? Like we have really talented people in our scene. We have a we've touched a lot of great people, mm -hmm. right? Like you just look at a person like Fizzy, and you're like, I can't. If I wanted oh to, I God. couldn't like carve a better person out of marble, right? Like I, you can't do it. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. Um, and so so like that's kind of where I'm getting at is like. Um, we're going to win because we have the people and the people are way more important than like four dudes in a Nintendo office. Like it's just the bottom line. Woo! And we've been winning. 
we've been winning. I wonder if right? we have any uh Japanese social uh like Japanese influencers that also supports us. That'd be cool. More and more international, less English language yeah. would also be really, really good. Right. That's why I um, wonder. I feel like yeah. that would like really push us. So all like again, ultimately bird's eye view for the people who get like really doomer about it because they hear me, frankly. Um <laughs> This is literally just a continuation of 21 years of pain. If you're new to the scene, yeah, this might be new to you. If you're not new to the scene, you know this happens like every six months mm -hmm. or every year, right? Pretty like much. This is like <laughs> this is just part of being a part of Smash. This is like welcome part to of being the whole a smasher. Thing. This is the life you chose. Welcome to being a smasher. This is like it explains a lot. <laughs> if you are new to this, you're like, hey, why are why are the prize pools so low? This explains it, huh? Hey, you know, uh, like, why do we have all these problems? Yeah, it's this is why. So, so like ultimately, like um, you know, we're used to it. We're resilient, and we're gonna win. Like we're literally been winning. We have only been winning. It's been twenty one years of straight winning. We've only been growing and getting better at what we do every single year. Everything's just been cool, getting better and better. Um, inspire them. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, like I don't like. As long as they don't like completely shut everything down, which again, like I said, it's against their interest and does not fit into my model of what what they want out of us, then I think we're going to be completely fine. And, and and I frankly do not expect them to shut everything down. I think one unfortunate side effect of what just happened is I think we're not going to see a circuit in a very long time. Uh, <laughs> circuits as a concept uh, might be uh, might be a little rip. <laughs> Our best circuit was the Papa John circuit. Right. And also like combined sales, like if we're going to do that, I think that's another big question mark is like, are things like Papa John's going to be a thing that we're like, we dare to do going forward. Right. Mm -hmm. like, is that something mm -hmm. how BTS jeopardize the smash scene, which would suck because like, like this sort of stuff, we were getting a lot more money than we've ever gotten in like the last couple of years. Right. Because we went for this stuff mm -hmm. and, and now we've kind of been slapped on the hand and, um, I, no one wants to see a regression in that regard, right? Yeah. And so I think that's an this is another big question of like how risky can we are we really going to be when it comes to sponsorships and the, and the like, right? But like the question of like are we going to run Genesis? Yes, it's a bit unknown for us. Like what's in, what Nintendo's going to do about it, <laughs> and also what Genesis is going to do in terms of license or unlicensed, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah tough questions for sheridan to answer i'm glad i'm not the yeah, one answering it <laughs> my my current prediction if you had to make me bet since you asked what's going to happen is probably number two mm -hmm. uh, because i've talked to tos and i don't see unity yet and yeah. we don't have a, a huge timeline for unity like it would have to happen in the next couple of weeks because i know how momentum works right yeah probably number two it's lame i don't like number two i'd prefer if we did number one lame but i'm also not the one putting up the money yeah and i'm not the one running the fuck i get it you know yeah um so that's my prediction um and then i think next year is probably going to be like relatively peaceful from nintendo because they again just got kind of sucker punched because now pan is gone we actually punched back at them which was yeah. really cool yeah it's the, like this by the way was our first time we punched back yeah in a way that hurts them yeah that part i like yes, yes. right yes I can't wait to see the statement Alan's gonna make, and I I've been thinking, should I say back, uh, gamer lied, Alan cried. Yeah, I mean, like the best we've done in the past in terms of like punching back is bad PR for them, right? Mm -hmm. But here, yes, it's not their company, but tanking Panda is punching oh back God. at them, oh. right? It's punching. We literally took a queen off the board, mm -hmm. right? We took their queen off the board. It's yeah. not the king. The king stay king, <laughs> right? Nintendo's the, the king. Yeah. The king will stay the king. But we took the queen off the board, yeah. and that's pretty badass. Yeah. We took the, that. I like that. I like that we were able to fucking punch back for once in our lives. Twenty one years, we haven't punched back really, except for except for PR, um, and that and that part I, I like a lot. Yeah, it's like it's like the little brother finally punching back. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think like also the, I hope at least I hope. We'll see how it goes with time. That um, official Nintendo events, like I'm talking Nintendo versus events, aka events run by the people who are doing all this fuck shit, people like stop supporting them, like players and commentators and all that. Like I've been asking for that for a long time. People seem to have disagreed with me when I said it at the time. Some people did. <laughs> Many people agreed. Yeah. Um, but I hope 
after all this, yep, it's relatively obvious. Stop helping Nintendo. Be yes. Nice. So. Remember when I made that uh, that Chad Blur meme? Bravely calls out people that works for Nintendo a scab. Bravely. Hey man, I like I don't like to br- drudge up old shit because honestly, a lot of those people were affected by the pan and stuff, and I'm not like I don't hate any of them or anything. I think I get it because back then it was a different time than it is now. Sure. Yeah. Um, and 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 they stood up for for for, for us this time, and they did what's right. Yeah. So ultimately, like. Who gives a shit? Um, so, but yeah, now, so, now now there's definitely no excuse. But now I hope I literally hope now it's like we're we're absolutely clear on this, right? Like, come on, right? People get that. I hope so. Mm-hmm. Um, and I so would it's like love stuff like this. It's it, like so it, much. It's also like you know the reason why you don't hear about the MLG stuff is because like communication and knowledge back then was frankly like two people in the world knew at the time. And now I actually people, didn't like, know about the MLG thing until like maybe 2015, 16. Like pretty right. late in the game. Like I actually like learned about it late. I was like, wait a second, why did no one talk about this? Right, because like right? it's like communication and like uh the awareness of all of this was just so much more limited. And now we have people like Aiden Ludwig openly talking about this in a mogul mail. Like people will not forget. Yeah. Like if the only one you can argue as bigger as a shutdown than SWT is MLG. Right. Right. If you if you rank the biggest shutdowns of well, the truth of the matter is, the biggest shutdowns of the events that never happened. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> like the stuff on the. We were the, supposed the, to have multi-million liner. prize pools for yeah. melee. Yeah, those so are the like, biggest. Those are technically the biggest shutdowns, but like they weren't like the ones that were already running. Weren't they supposed so to happen in like 2016, 2017, 2018? Around. I don't want to confirm or deny anything in that statement, but yeah. nonetheless, you know. But having said that. It, the whole thing's pretty much true. Mm-hmm. Um, the having said that, like, uh, if you'd like rank them, MLG or SWT is probably one and two, and Evil is like three in terms of like the biggest ones. There've been others. There've been so many others. Wait, well, what do you um, mean by Evil shutdown? Well, the Evil shutdown, but then they rescinded it, so yeah, I think so that kind of like dampers. Not... It doesn't. Yeah, but it's still number three in my sure. mind. Okay, uh, because it's Evo, you know. Well, because uh, big ha- big house online was pretty bad though. Yeah, I was about to say like, what about big house online? Maybe maybe big house online is three. Yeah, because it's big house and it puts like it's big house and then they and um, but yeah, I mean the, the one and two is definitely MLG and um uh, and uh, SWT in terms of the biggest ones they've ever done. Yeah, um, that were public and live, right? Yep. Um, all the biggest, the actual like top twenty would all be stuff that none one that like. <laughs> with behind the scenes stabbed in the back <laughs> that's the worst part the worst part is like the ones we always talk about are the ones that were like currently running and shut down like <laughs> like during the event and shit effectively like during the the but the biggest ones are actually all like ones that they, they just killed before it ever got out of the womb you know mm-hmm. ah, freaking nintendo dude um yep so all in all, what you think will happen is scenario number two. It'd be cool if we get number one here, but number one would be better. But I like number one but a lot more. There's a chance that we might be forced to do number one anyways. There's a chance. I mean, like we might not have a choice if they fucking yeah. Like it's uh, like I, I want you to all do our streams in the Nintendo stream. You have to do that, and it's like and, and make you. no make, make no mistake. No to is like gonna search for a license if they don't have to. Yeah, like the, t- the, the Nintendo's gonna come to them. So like, that part of Scar stuff, just ignore that. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not how it works. Yeah, we don't want to talk to them. Yeah, and we never I, have. I think it's also important to note that even if it does ultimately fail, like we will rise up again like cockroaches with like our influencer leverages and like. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, at the same time, like Mikey asked this wonderful question, which is like, I am. I don't doubt ever that we'll survive, but like, I want to know what our avenues of growth and how do we grow, um, in this new environment, right? Like if we lose all of our sales potential from like, like unifying our sales, we lose a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's really important. And similarly, like losing circuits are not, are not great. Yeah. Losing our old rankings. Well, actually, that's fine. Well, that honestly, they were, the they were doing a bad. Best. They were doing a bad job, honestly. <laughs> so, so, so I'm fine with that. But we'll see if the new group does a good job, or I'll yeah. complain about them too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know, stuff like that. 
but um, yeah onwards about money and broadcasting rights yeah like that stuff is like how do we grow in that environment like an open question and i think we always figure it out so we'll we'll, we'll be fine but... what's up what's up pp craig as in we were talking their about stat sites their stat sites pretty good hmm. um their stat stuff uh, no their stat stuff is worse than smash data oh yeah it's like worse than liquid none of us because none of us none don't... of us use li- yeah. yeah we use liquidpedia or smash data ever for, for all the pp raiders me and blur we were well i was watching like the scar video and then like some other videos and blur was bored and wanted to talk more about uh what's gonna happen next year and uh points one and two um basically what can happen is that we go the scar route if the tos unionize we uh it's either we honor the cnd we protest unless they call the cops or uh we don't honor the crd and probably get sued and if we win or they do nothing that's great if we lose that's gonna set us back a lot uh What's probably going to actually happen is that we get owned and we get licensed because Nintendo wants us to be licensed, but but with no Panda influence. And basically, we would try to kind of be in 2016, 2017 state of like, you know, we get Splatoon ads. It's a price we pay. However, if Nintendo wants us to do what Panda intended us to be, like, you know, do like circuit, combine broadcast, we just say like... We already saw how much damage that did to us. No, we will not do that. And we are forced to do point number one. That's basically yeah. what we think will probably happen next year. Yeah, 1B is the is basically what Scar is suggesting is we 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 just we kind of run the gamble. Mm-hmm. I don't love 1B. I actually love 1A. I think the unlicensed world, I really like the 1A idea, mm-hmm. which is because the reason 1A is good, it's just frankly, gonna get like so much press. Like the protest is dope. Yeah, it's good content. Yeah. <laughs> frankly, I Who's think the TO wouldn't lose about her. that. The 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 1A is is great because the TO doesn't lose their ass when they get CND'd, mm-hmm. which makes their CNDs less powerful. Yeah. They're already hesitant to do full CNDs, right? Because yeah. they know it's a huge PR shitstorm. Yeah, they'd be even more hesitant if they know that the event still happens. Yeah, right now. It'd be we'd have to make the that event fun. We'd have to kind of like come together. Like it shouldn't be on whoever. Let's say Big House gets CND. I don't know. I'm just gonna Genesis pick a tournament, right? Genesis gets CND, right? Um, we have to as a community understand that Genesis wouldn't have enough time because you know how Nintendo likes to do it. They send their CNDs a week before, yeah. right? <laughs> you know they're doing that on purpose because they want it to hurt. Yeah, the pain is the point, mm-hmm. right? Um. We like kind of have to have an Apex 2015 moment and know that Sheridan Bobak can't like basically deal with all that shit. <laughs> and I think like people like me, whoever, all the other TOs, uh, Joe Guy, whoever, like, the people that are good uh, at, at at community organizing should come together and basically remake Genesis without Smash Brothers, right? And what I mean by that is like we put some fucking board games out there, mm-hmm. we make it a party, mm-hmm. we like get some food trucks yep. you know like yep, yep. we like we, we can have a fun three days guys as, as, as a community mm-hmm. while protesting right and then we make the broadcast like a really refined protest mm-hmm. really refined with mm-hmm. content pieces and everything like we would need all of our content people making vi- like we can't just have scar talking for fucking 40 hours right <laughs> we like need ludwig not talking a, for 40 hours with all with all due respect new, new ludwig subathon no, seriously, we'd have we should have Lud there talking. Like we should just like rotate our big personalities in. Like, give Scar some time, give Lud some time, give Aiden some time, give me some time, give Kodo some time, give whoever the Mango, fuck some time. Hbox to to, to to talk their shit. Yeah. Give them time to talk their shit. Yeah. Right. Um. And then like literally drop video after video after video after video. Yeah. Right. Of uh, that explains what we're here for, and I think that stream would do really well. Yes. Right. One A is by far my. 1A is by far my favorite option. I think it was a genius, almost prophetic idea that I never thought about until Bobby brought it up. It's like a really good idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the viewership would actually be really good. Yeah. Because who, we'd be in the news like we are now. That? We'd be in the news like we are now. Yeah. Shit. Like, <laughs> if it happens to Genesis, the fun one, funny thing about that is, like, Nintendo has an office in NorCal. <laughs> 
I'm not joking. We can we can rent a bus and go outside their fucking offices. Uh, I'm not uh, joking. I'd be so down. You don't think that makes national news? It does. I I'd be so down. I'm I'm dead serious. I know, right? Yeah, that would be that amazing. shit would be crazy. Yeah, we just show up with four thousand people, five thousand people outside their fucking offices. How about that? Yeah. What do you think about shutting you know? down a tournament, huh? What do you think about that? Tell me. Tell me in person. <laughs> you know? Are you gonna and then the, cops? the entire company. Could you imagine a company? Well, okay. They're, a lot of their companies based on Seattle. So it wouldn't be their entire company. Yeah. But that would be the, everything anyone talks about in Japan, in America, in Europe. Every single person in their company would know about it. Mm-hmm. It would know how badly it's gotten. Right? Yeah. 5,000 people show up outside their fucking offices. You kidding me? <laughs> right? Like, I'm just saying, right? Yeah. Like, the things we can do with 1A is actually shocking because we have the people. Mm-hmm. Um, and it would make national news and we'd be trending. We'd have all of that on our side, right? Um, and uh, we'd put merch out. Like, imagine the merch. Let's play we a video had, game. Let's play the video games. Good merch. We'd have crazy merch, right? And it, it would make, like, we've already had, like, pro bono lawyer orgs. Like, well... I don't know if they're pro bono. Okay. That we've already had like lawyer groups like already reach out to us, like mm-hmm. being like, hey, if you guys ever need legal support, <laughs> 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 our rates are cheap. <laughs> I should have said pro bono because that they never said pro bono. Yeah. I made that part up. <laughs> anyway, that was kind of that part was in my head. <laughs> <laughs> that part that part was me wishing. Uh there's a world. But uh there there might be a world, who knows? Maybe there's a lawyer with a with a golden heart. There's like it'd be a like a smasher movie. who was a lawyer. Or who's, there's a yeah. lawyer who was a smasher. Cody needed to finish law school. Yeah. That's what we really yeah, needed. Yeah, we, yeah, Cody, yeah. go back to law school. We, yeah. Take a break. We need you to finish. <laughs> yeah, you know, take the free break. agent thing. Use that time to uh, finish up law yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> finish law school, bro. <laughs> I love, I would be like the Vish quote of like, he quit law school for this. And then it'd be the new Vish quote. He went back to law school for this. <laughs> he went back to law school for this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> And also, by the way, this whole thing makes me really appre- – people give lawyers shit in our society. It makes me appreciate them, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, this is so we need, Where's a lawyer when you need one? Yeah, you know? yeah. The one that helps <laughs> us. Yeah, yeah. Where's a lawyer when you fucking need one, bro? Yeah. Um, so, so um, yeah, like, basically, like, I think 1A is the sickest by far. Yeah. Um, personally. That's where my mind is at now. Maybe I'll change my mind. And because I think we can make I, – I'm seeing the vision as an event organizer of the event we'd run. And yes, unfortunately, there'd be me- no Melee or Ultimate on stream and uh, probably not even in the venue, right, just to be safe. Mm-hmm. Um, but we would make it a fun weekend. We can make ourselves have fun for three days and make it only about yeah. that issue. Yeah. Um, and, um, and I think it's the one that has – like the least disastrous effect on the organizer because they still get their venue fees. They f- honestly might keep their sponsors. Their sponsors might be happier with this result. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I don't hey, know I mean, about that. The just chatting stream dudes popping off. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the sponsors might be like, Hey, uh, you're protesting. <laughs> I thought I was, <laughs> I thought I was uh, uh, sponsoring uh, a video game tournament. Like, excuse me. But there's going to be some sponsors who are like, we're so down. You don't understand. Like the Red Bulls of the world. Yeah. Like the Red Bulls of the world are going to be like, you don't understand. <laughs> We've been waiting our whole lives for this. Because <laughs> <You know? laughs> they like that shit. Yeah. They're, I know them enough to know like they'd actually be more down than you fucking understand. Yeah. Right? Um, so there's going to be some sponsors who are into it. There's going to be some sponsors who aren't. And there's going to be some people, some sponsors that come out of the woodwork for it. Right? Mm-hmm. Like the, mo- the, the fucking Mr. Beast of the world. Right? Yeah. We're just like last minute like, oh. I heard some fuck shit's going on and it's trending on Twitter. I'm going to give you a million dollars, right? <laughs> uh, not a million, but probably like, I don't know, 10K. We'll take it, right? Sure. Well, um, lots of millions you miss a piece anyways. You could use that million. We could use the milli. Yeah. So, uh, and I think we get national news and stuff. Literally, I think we, we, would, we would. If it's like in person, especially. Like in person protests hit way different than online protests, bro. Yeah. Like they're not the same. Mm-hmm. Um, taking 5,000 people to the Nintendo office in NorCal will be litty. Yes. That's what we would, we, I literally am telling you, if we do 1A, that's what we would do if it happened to Genesis. We, why wouldn't we do that? Like, I see no reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'd have to order some buses. 
but like how fun would that bus be us with our signs like as a group <laughs> guys it'd be part of history I don't know. I'm kind of getting more hype for that than the fucking normal Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's let's, uh, let's break the gears here a little. Uh, you get you get you get some fucking loudspeakers. You get me and Bobby starting some chants with everybody. You get five thousand people chanting outside their offices. You're break. telling me that it wouldn't be hype as shit, guys. It would be, that would be hype as fuck. So hype. Five thousand smashing Probably. smoking weed outside of Nintendo offices. At least <laughs> at least this upcoming Genesis. I don't think that would happen. Um, I. Because, like you said before, like Nintendo is probably going to be licking their wounds. They won't. I think they're going to be licking do, their wounds. They probably won't do anything too risky. This is something that it's not going to happen immediately, but we should always keep this in the back of our heads that they could see and D. We could protest. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, for me, I think, like, I'm, I want to so fucking sick. Because the 1B has a lot of problems, right? Yeah, 1B is like, it's like one A seems like high, like low risk, high reward, and this seems high risk, high reward, and it's like why? Right, one B has a really bad risk award in my opinion, because the problem is the likely lose situation is like so bad <laughs> that like it it tilts the risk reward really badly. Literally, the lose, the 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 loot, like they actually sue us and then we we auto lose. <clears throat> it actually just ruins us. It ruins the TO's life. And it like ruins few, every other TO at the same time, because now we have case law against us <laughs> that like tells us that oh, actually like you know we're fucked. And they they'll get more bold with being litigious, right? Because once they sue one of us, they might sue any more, right? Mm -hmm. And that's even worse. Um, so one one B is like, I don't know, one B is pretty fucking disaster. I don't like one B. Um, I don't know. Yeah, no one's saying it's so bad and so likely, right? Like, 1B, you have to make the ultimate read. It's like the ultimate read. You have to basically do a hyper call out that they won't sue us. Like, right? you, you would need, you would require insider information that confirms without. It's a raw out. rest. Yeah, it's yeah. a raw rest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's literally like you are jumping into the opponent and resting them. And it, if it doesn't work, you you lose your stock. Yeah. Right? That's basically all that happens. It's literally the rest uh, Hbox did to Amsa. Yeah. That main Into stage. double jump armor. Yeah. <laughs> and then they armor and you're like, oh, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. I guess I'm done. Uh, I guess I lost. Uh, oh, shit. I guess, I guess we lose. <laughs> and I don't like picking options that, like, could potentially could, like, literally end our community. Me personally. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I'm not big and ruin someone's life. Yeah. Right? Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Yeah. Uh, so, so I'm not a huge 1B fan, personally. Um, 2 is unfortunately the most likely one because I know the TOs. <laughs> and I know, I know where things are leaning, right, in terms of conversations at the, this very moment, right, um, because they're scared. I wish they aren't scared and they do 1A. <laughs> That's my preference. That's the Blur's recommendation at this very moment, right, yeah. is 1A. I think... If we all came together and signed a fucking statement committing in writing to the people that we aren't going to get licensed, how strong would that be? How fucking badass would that be? Yeah. Right? Be like, look, guys, none of us are fucking doing it. Because when it's a public statement, that means you won't do a private agreement. Right? Like, ultimately, I think, like, I believe their words in terms of, like, I don't think there's going to be TOs out there who are signed onto the public statement and privately get licensed. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think, I don't think it'll happen. I personally integrity. have enough respect, integrity for the TOs. If they sign it, they will actually do it. Mm -hmm. But if they don't sign a statement, I can see a world where, like, six months pass and they privately get licensed. And maybe they won't even tell me because they know it would piss me off. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Shit like that. Mm -hmm. and, and I just think that's... It's not good. We have this momentum right now. We know they're fuckers. We don't need to know, get any more data, mm -hmm. right? We, we know this is bad. We don't, it's, it's <laughs> over, right? Um, so I'm a big fan of, of one, then one A, and letting it rock. And you know what? If they CND all, us all, we'll, we'll do a protest at every single one. I hope they CND Genesis because it's in fucking Yeah, uh, Genesis, uh, they're, they're stupid. Well, actually, I, I hope they don't do anything. I hope they don't CND anyone. Yeah. <laughs> <They're going> <laughs> but if they had to do something, you know? Uh... If they had to do something, it would literally be the most legendary. Like, it, like if you think Apex 2015 was legendary in terms of, like, like the storyline of our game, 
literally everything that our our scenes history had, would have led up to that moment, to whatever that weekend would would be. It'd be the most whirlwind weekend, right? Um, that's fucking hype. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't want to be part of history? Mm-hmm. Kidding me? I want to be part of history. I'm a big one A fan. Mm-hmm. I might even this conversation because I, I didn't really deeply think about which one of these options was my favorite until thinking it through on the in this conversation. Mm-hmm. This conversation has kind of convinced me for one A. One A is just the goat, right? What do you agree, Kadoran? I could barely fathom it. Like you know how like you're good at like pitching like the best possible case scenario. Mm-hmm. And I really hope, like, I don't think this would happen, per se, but mm-hmm. what in, in the scenario that it does, I hope that's even half as prolific as you're saying. Oh, you think? No, I. Here's my prediction. What? The event that gets CND'd and turned into a protest is going to have more attendance than less. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's going to be some people who yeah, are if like it's even half as not... prolific as you're saying. That's like huge. The the I think Insane. there's going to be some people who are going to be like, yeah, I want. I just wanted to play Smash Bros. You know, like they're just new players in the scene and they're mm-hmm. not like invested. They're not lifers like us. Mm-hmm. And they're going to not go. There's going to be some of them. Then there's going to be some people who book a flight two days before the event because they're like, oh, no, no, no. I'm putting – I've been waiting my whole life for this shit. <laughs> and they're going to come to the venue wearing, like, fucking war paint. You know what I mean? You know, like, that would probably, like, revitalize all the people that, like, you know, left the scene. They're like, hey, I want to no, be we part have, of this. We have people coming out of retirement. We'd have, like, 50 – like, fucking Eddie the Gannon with his fucking kid would come. Oh, you know, God. like, he, as a, like, a 50-year-old. He'd show up. And yeah, he'd like, like all of our, he'd like, give a speech. All of like our our legacies, great like Ken. Oh, come, Ken would go Casey, like you. That's what I'm saying. Like, as in all of the like because this particular issue hits at the core of all of us because we've all been hurt. Yeah. Right. That, and so that, I personally that's, think that's tragic. Like the one thing that we've all been uni- like we all. He's not know, fifty. He's like thirty nine. My bad. <laughs> we all. We all. Uh, We've all been hurt by Nintendo. That's something that we That's all have one, in common. The, sh- the shared trauma. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, like, to me, like, all right. Even if, like, okay, they see and do that. Don't you think if they see a 5,000-person protest outside their fucking office, they'll fucking think twice on the next one? Oh, yeah. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. They'll think twice. <laughs> They'll think twice. <laughs> They're getting dragged in the media. We'd have senators calling us, bro. How often do porn is that? I'm not joking. That's what would happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Blur saying calls for senators. <laughs> That'd be fun. This is Blur's crazy. Per- first uh, It's his first foot in the water to becoming president. That's right. And then I funnel all ma- money into Melee. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Just be as corrupt as possible. <laughs> All for me. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Uh, um, but And so, like... And it wouldn't be just for us. Like, this would be a big step in IP law forever, right? Like, we're not just... Legitimately, we're not just fighting for us. We're fighting for all of esports and mm-hmm. all of, like, IP law, which is, like, some of the most fucked up law. Like, even if, even if you're someone who's like, bro, this is just Smash Brothers. Like, I'm just trying to play a game. Like... The truth of the matter is, is like this is a political protest mm-hmm. be- oh, about IP law. Yeah, and IP Fuck law IP sucks, laws. right? So like, we're not just talking about the video game. We're talking about like a very real issue that affects our society, right? Yeah, it's very much a political issue, mm-hmm. right? So it's not <laughs> like I know it sounds weird to go to go to a protest when you're uh, talking about Smash Brothers, <laughs> but it's because Smash Brothers happens to intersect with the law. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, this is definitely fun to think about, but let's be let's be real here that like this is not uh Well, okay, first of all, side question. Um I want you to answer this question that if TO sets up Tourney as an LLC, does it ruin the TO's life or just the company's finances? Um Okay, so that's a complicated question. So you're basically saying like, okay, what do you, yeah. So yeah. it's basically it's like bankruptcy law. Yeah. Right. Um, and the answer is it still fucking ruins the CEO life in most likely scenarios. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, think about how the finances work. Where does the money come from to get the venue where, mm-hmm. on all the costs, right? For an event, where does it, where does it come from? Mm-hmm. 
right? Even if you sell up an LLC, you still need the capital from somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Usually it comes from your personal finances mm -hmm. and then you recoup it through venue fees, et cetera, mm -hmm. right? So even if it's an LLC, you still lose all the money that's used to make the tournament happen, mm -hmm. right? So it doesn't really change that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's really like, it kind of doesn't matter how the company is structured because we don't get private investment. We don't get loans to run tournaments. We use our own money. Right. And uh, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, so and, uh, still still probably the ruins of Theo's life. Yeah, it still ruins it. And like it, it like it completely ignores the part about like setting a precedent. Like if they win, even if it doesn't ruin the Theo's life, the precedent still ruins The precedent us. also just ruins us in general. Yeah. Like if we lose that court case, we literally might not get a sponsor for the rest of our history. Yeah. And like and also we might not get like the red like we might not get like outside TOs like the dream hacks for the rest of our history. Right. You know, uh, because they'll be like, holy shit, <laughs> they will actually sue us. And and they've already won before, you know, like it's that's so bad. Yeah, but yeah, so um, next year, all things considered, we'll probably fine. And we even have contingencies plans when things don't turn out to be fine. And the yeah. thing is, is that we probably won't get shut down next year. But it's like the years after where Nintendo is ready to take action again, and uh... yeah, like I like I basically said, like they're gonna lick their wounds. They don't have a plan right now. Their plan was they were all in on Panda. They were like, Panda's gonna be our conduit. They're gonna help us control the scene. We're gonna use them for all they're worth, and then we're gonna take over. Right? Mm -hmm. That that was their plan. It was very obvious. It was transparent. I said it in my Medium article a year ago. You know, it's like what happened is exactly what I said it would happen. But whatever, you know. <laughs> Um, and, uh, that was their plan. They now have no plan. They will have another plan, mm -hmm. right? It's this, this is an eternal war. Our enemy doesn't die. As, as long as Nintendo Switches are selling, people are going to watch a fucking Mario movie. Our intent, our opponent never dies. Good news though, is we never die either. <laughs> so it's an <laughs> eternal war. It's, yeah. it's a forever war. At the end of the day, that while like what happened was really bad, but we will win in the end. We have plans. And it's not just it's not just like baseless optimism. Like we we literally got stuff and like we're gonna win in the end, no matter how long it takes. Man, no, we're literally that's, that's why guaranteed I, to win. Cause cause again, if our mo unless my model for them is wrong, and I don't think I'm wrong. I'm I've literally haven't been wrong for like a decade now. Um you know, like unless my model's incorrect and they just wanna see us die. <laughs> um which again, I'm telling right, you. Now I'm afraid that almost... we might lose. <laughs> well, I'm telling you that. that, that I'm telling you they just, they actually, when they say they want to see us grow, they mean it. Um, mm. The problem is they want us to grow in, our, in a twisted way with yeah. like a parasite inside us. You know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay.